we'll do the approval of the previous minutes from July 13th. Do I have a any questions, comments, revisions? If none, motion to approve. Second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, moving on to the uh, minor plat. Uh, we've got PC 22-9, the Beeman subdivision, the minor plat. This is Plat Committee. Um, I am Joyner with the Planning and Zoning Department. I presented before you today is PC 22-9, the Bema Subdivision. The Bema Subdivision is located south of East 116th Street and east of Brook School Road in Incorporated District. Uh, here is a zoomed in aerial map of the location. We can see the property is located west of Sandstone Knoll and east of Heather Point. The lot currently is zoned R2 and is worth just under uh, one acre uh, and is sought to be subdivided into two single family R2 compliant lots. Uh, lot two, uh, lot two to the right, um, to the east, it, it currently has a home built on it and the petitioner is seeking to uh, demolish and rebuild the home and then uh, have someone else build a home on lot one. The both lots will share a driveway, which will be governed by an irregular ingress egress easement, um, which has been reviewed and approved by staff. Uh, the property uh, per the Fisher's land use plan is desired for single family residential development, uh, with which this plat aligns. The lots are zoned R2 and are compliant with R2 standards. Uh, staff recommends approval of PC 22-9. Thank you. Thank you, Joyner. Um, are there any additional comments from the petitioner? No? Uh, seeing that it's a minor plot, there's no public hearing. Can we make a uh, open it up for a motion to approve? Uh, I make a motion to approve. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving on to the public hearing items, which is the first one will be PC-22-11. Abbott Commons, three. Hello, I am Bree King with Planning and Zoning, and I am not contagious. We're here for a primary plot in Northeast Fishers, which is abutting I-69 and north of 136th Street. Here you can see the property is located at the northeast corner of 136th and Prairie Baptist. This primary plot is requested to approve 345 lots on 98 acres. The highlighted property will be annexed in its entirety in 2025 and has gone through that process. The top image is the concept plan that was associated with the rezone to a PUD. And the bottom image is the primary plat. Our engineering team has requested a few changes to the primary plat that I will expand on later in the presentation. And this primary plat was reviewed through the technical review committee in June 2022, and there are still a few remaining comments to be addressed. All of the lots do meet the lot standards of the PUD. There are three points of vehicular access along 136th Street, and they're highlighted here. And I've also highlighted the stubbed streets for future connection. So our engineering team has requested that the far western stub uh, be called out with a note stating that the location of the stub road will be determined at the construction plan stage. If it needs to be relocated due to topography, uh, the alignment of the road may need to be modified, mo modified at that time. The Far East stub has also been requested to remove the cul-de-sac shape and mirror a typical stub street. 
Staff has recommended that the petitioner work with our fire and engineering teams to obtain final approval. Here you can see the pedestrian access. They are providing pedestrian access as required by the PUD. There are 6.7 miles of paths and sidewalks. Green are the paths and red are the sidewalks. This primary plat also features new local roads as well as private alleys in area A. This is the area that is closest in proximity to 136th Street. The private alleys are located in common area and will be maintained by the HOA and these are highlighted in orange. All other roads are public and will be maintained by the city. I do want to highlight this was also shown during the rezone process but 136th Street is going to have improvements around 2024 and here's a plan showing uh, the changes that will occur. The open space in Abbott Commons is required to be in compliance with the concept plan that was associated with the rezone. In this primary plat, that open space is provided. All required landscaping and common areas and initial plantings on lots were required to be native species with an emphasis on drought tolerant um, varieties as well. Staff recommends the approval of this plat with the condition that all TAC comments are addressed before final approval and that the petitioner work with fire and engineering to, con to coordinate the far east and far west of streets. Would the petitioner like to add anything? No. If none, I'll open it up to uh, public comment. If there are anyone, please um, come up and state your name, your address, and we'll give you approximately three minutes to make your comments. Seeing there are none, we'll close the public hearing. Are there any questions or comments from the committee? Yeah, I have a pet, uh, question for the petitioner. So the sub streets that were shown that still need to be worked out with engineering and fire, um, can you just speak to um, those comments and then I guess your ability to make those changes in the future? I just wanna make sure that that's something that you guys are open to and you guys don't have any concerns with um, those changes that are being requested by Kyle Eichhorn, HWC Engineering. Yeah, so on the west side, we have that street that comes down and has, it's contiguous with the west boundary, so the adjustment of that western stub street, uh, we, can, we can slide that north or south uh, to kind of hit the property line where the topography is the most advantageous for that western adjoiner. And then on the east side, uh, engineering wants us to remove the bulb, and so the plan is to put kind of a half hammerhead uh, we have some common area we can adjust the lots and put a half hammerhead and then we'll provide uh, auto turn uh, with the fire truck uh, to get approval of the fire department so we don't anticipate any issues so. okay great yeah. thank you <coughs> any further questions okay. do I have a motion uh, I make a motion to approve on the condition that all top TAC comments are addressed before final approval is given and then that they continue to work with fire and engineering to address the far east and far <coughs> west stub streets. Do I have a second? Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, the next item is PP-22-12, the courtyards at Fishers. Um, we got Jonah Butler. Good afternoon again. This is Jonah Butler with the Planning and Zoning Department. Um, presented before you is PP22-12, the Courtyards of Fishers. This project is proposed to be located uh, in East Fishers. It is currently annexed and is off as uh, north of 113th and uh, west of Southeastern Parkway. This is a zoomed in aerial of the uh, project area. Uh, as you can see, is pretty heavily wooded in the west um, and most of it exists currently as um, unused agricultural land. To its west is the Grantham development and further to its west is Welcher Springs in similar size and density as, well, uh, density as well as this proposed project. The project was approved via PUD um, as the Courtyards of Fishers PUD and this is the concept plan that was approved by the PUD committee. Uh, as part of the concept plan, you can see 
um, activation of the southwestern um, pond area with paths and a pavilion, uh, no uh, development to occur in the wooded areas, and for uh, two uh, north, uh, a north um, cul-de-sac and a southern cul-de-sac as well, as well as a emergency access point off of 113th to the south. Here is the plat presented before us today. We can see the wooded area to the west is um, proposed to be common area B, extending to the south and the southeast, including the drainage area. Uh, we can see the uh, activated um, pond area, including the pavilion, as well as the pedestrian path surrounding it, as well as a fire access point to its south. Uh, that fire access point is 20 feet wide and is uh, going to be receive final approval through the SIP document. Uh, the only uh, ingress and egress point is off of Sunland Drive, um, right off of Southeastern Parkway to the northeast. This is 50 lots on 22 acres, um, and it, uh, it complies with all PUD standards, and as such, uh, staff recommends approval. Thank you. Thank you. Would the petitioner like to add anything? No. All right. All right. Open it up for uh, public comment, public hearing. Yeah. Seeing that there is none, we'll close that. Are there any questions or comments from the committee? Yep. I just want to make sure because I did see some people in here that had questions about this. Was there anyone here to speak on this for the public hearing? Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Yeah. You guys don't have to answer. Any questions? I don't have any questions. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We will. Um, do we have any old? Seeing that there's no old business or new business, uh, staff communication on the new location. Yeah. Um, th wow, this is really loud. Um, thank you. Um, so staff communication is the fact that this is our first meeting at our new location moving forward. Um, so you we'll see that the Houston Theater is reflected on our agendas. So um, our last day at City Hall was August 1st officially. So I look forward to having these meetings here in this great auditorium. So thanks, Jason. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, IT, for hustling to get this done last minute. Uh, we will have everything up and running next time. There were some hiccups that we had, so I appreciate IT getting on that. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. All right, a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.